Hey everyone, in this video I'd like to show you some improvements I've made to my minecart arrival bay. The first improvement is that I've installed a new button inside the arrival bay that allows the player to launch the cart immediately, even before the time circuit has finished. So to demonstrate this, I'll board this cart here and arrive in the bay myself. You'll see the button here. If I push this, the cart launches right away. This can be helpful for people who are impatient and don't want to wait. You'll also notice that the time circuit also operates normally so uh, and engages the launch mechanism as you saw there. Now the button is accessible from both inside and outside of the arrival bay. So from outside here, I can push it and it just operates just the same. So this can be useful for clearing out any uh, carts or players that are inside the bay. Also the button opens up the exit chute that you can see right there and this allows the player, any stuck players to drop down safely. Uh, one other improvement I'll show you is that I've increased the uh, waiting time for the cart inside the bay to a record 9 to 10 seconds. Uh, to demonstrate this I will place an empty cart here. You'll see that the timing circuit is now much longer. It sort of wraps around itself here, goes around the outside, uh, plays a chime, and ultimately uh, uses the launch mechanism. Alright, so for people who haven't seen the last, uh, the original uh, rival bay, I'll demonstrate what happens if I... Uh, so in this case I have arrived in the bay, but I'm going to step outside, step out of the cart, I'll wait for the timing circuit to finish. There goes the chime. And you'll see that now I've dropped down uh, into this little uh, corridor here. And also this glass block has closed on top, so now I can't uh, jump up or and uh, go back inside the bay. This ha basically prevents players from going back up into the bay and uh, interfering with any other incoming carts. And the final improvement I'll show you, I'll turn back flying here, is that you'll notice that the player can now exit from both sides of the bay, either from this side or the other side. Uh, there's actually an even better advantage of this improvement, and that is you can now put the uh, rival bays uh, next to each other. So I can show you this way over here. This little, got this little contraption here. So I've got three arrival bays right next to each other. There's no need for an uh, intermediary platform in between. And you'll see that down below there's this sort of a rival corridor where all the players will drop down and then exit uh, out of either side of the uh, bays there. So um, as a final demonstration, I've got three arrival bays, but I'm going to send seven carts into the arrival bays and you'll see how this system handles all the traffic. You'll see the first uh, three carts, they arrive in their bays there, and the other four are now looping around waiting for uh, one of the arrival bays to become vacant. So you'll see the next three are going around, and there's still one uh, going around in a loop there. I'll try a different perspective here. You see the next three are falling to lava there, and you'll see the last cart is now inside that bay. So, um, yep, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you there. Uh, the, this, this, these new arrival bays will be in the next uh, version of my Minecart Rapid Transit Station. That'll be version 4.1. So, um, yep, uh, thank you for watching, and have a nice day.